Okay. Who put my calculator in Jello? Good one. But uh, seriously, guys, who did this? Seriously, guys. Who did this? I need to know who put my calculator in Jello, or I'm gonna lose my freaking mind! Hope this helps, Jim. What are you doing? Shh. Don't be scared. It works. <laughs> oh no. Hey. Who are you faxing so early in the morning? Oh, um, kind of hard to explain. I don't have a ton of contact with this Granton branch, but before I left, I took a box of Dwight's stationery. So from time to time, I send Dwight faxes from himself, from the future. Dwight, at 8 a.m. today, someone poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. More instructions will follow. Cordially, future Dwight. No! You'll thank me later. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in from Stamford. Hey, Dwight. Fact. I am older. I am wiser. Do not mess with me. Okay, sounds good. What are you doing? I don't know what you're talking about. I have a smudge on my forehead. No, oh, I good. Why are you looking at my forehead? I'm not. Meet my eyeline, Jim. I am. Stop acting like an idiot. Okay. All righty, let's get started. What is she into? I know Pam pretty well. I know the things that she likes, and just as important, I know the things that she hates. So one of the things that she likes is pranks, and the things that she hates Frisbee-based competitions. Are you kidding? She... I started the main Frisbee golf club at Cornell, where I went to college. I live to froth. Lead off with that. She loves hunting. She also loves those ads for Six Flags with the old guy. <laughs> also, do you speak pig Latin? Okay, now open your eyes and describe it to me. I don't know. It has four bedrooms and a loft. Oh my god, now she's up. Yeah. And she's trying to describe how to correctly butcher a goose, but she's having trouble coming up with it. Okay, Cindy. Go, Cindy, Cindy. Pull its neck back, insert the knife beneath the jaw, bring it all the way around. There's gonna be a good amount of blood. But don't let that bother you. Have a bucket there for the blood and the, the innards and the feathers. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier, and it seems that the CIA is gonna need Dwight down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Don't know, that would be very patriotic. It costs $75. Hmm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. <gasps> You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. Pamela Ma Ding Dong. Listen, you're cute. There's no getting around it. 
So, I don't know if you like country music, but I was thinking maybe one of these days we could drive out to a field, crank up some tunes, smoke a few macanudos, maybe even toss a disc around. Utwe ude uye inkthe, ampe. Wow. I... Beach. Think about it. I'll hit you back. was wow all right let's get started um oh first off we're supposed to be pushing cardstock this week so let's push cardstock this week uh also what is this tape recorder for what for recording michael is on vacation and he's asked me to record all meetings and to type up the transcripts okay uh karen any news from that law firm yeah, the deal closed yesterday. It's a six-month commitment. Oh my god, Dwight, what are you doing? What? You're not allowed to take off your pants in the middle of the office. I'm not. Dwight, you know what? Just back off, okay? That's making me uncomfortable. This so. is sexual harassment, by the way. Oh my god. He's got a knife! I do not have a knife. No, let the record show that Dwight K. Schrute is now completely nude and what? is holding a plastic knife to Stanley's neck? Let the record show that Jim Halpert is a liar. Dwight Schrute is now Get wearing a baby's bonnet. I am not. Oh, Jim I'm... Carrey just walked in. Dwight, get his autograph from Michael. Jim Carrey did not just yes, walk he... in, okay? Wait, what is that on your stomach? Is that a Muppet Baby's tattoo? Oh my God, oh, you Karen, you're right. That is Animal from the Muppet you Baby. You can't see my stomach. I am now chopping off Phyllis's head with a chainsaw. Ring, 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 ring. <clears throat> Seriously, you're gonna set me back? Uh, yeah. That's the safest part of a car. In the event of a crash, the driver always protects his side first. Um, large tuna. Have you seen my cell phone device? Mm, no. Is someone just calling right now? There is a call. Excuse me. And I'm also sorry that a lot of people here for some reason think it's funny to steal someone's personal property and hide it from them. Here's a little news flash. It's not funny. In fact, it's pretty freaking unfunny. That was an overreaction. I'm gonna hit the break room. Does anybody want anything? Ma'am, you good? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Back to you, sir. Well, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks are from the rear. Okay, well, that still leaves a 30% chance that I'll attack you from the front. Uh, yeah, but it'll be easier to stop. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it, but... Care for a piece of chocolate? Chocolate? Where did you acquire it? That is a delicacy in the Amazon, but it has not yet been imported to the United States. Who is the king of Austria? Joseph II. Who is the king of Prussia? Friedrich Wilhelm III. Who is the king of England? Why, the tyrant King George, of course. I don't care what Jim says. That is not the real Ben Franklin. I am 99% sure. Oh, damn, lost well, another file. Gonna have to reboot again. Hey, Dwight, do you want an Altoid? What do you think? In school, we learned about this scientist who trained dogs to salivate at the sound of a bell by feeding them whenever a bell rang. So for the past couple weeks, I've been conducting a similar experiment. Dwight, one Altoid. Okay. Altoid? Sure. Ventoid? Ventoid? Yes. 
What are you doing? I... What? I don't know. I... Well, my mouth tastes so bad all of a sudden. Well... And now, Michael the Magic will attempt to escape from extreme bondage. Can he do it? I don't see how he can. I know how. He'll dislocate his shoulder and slip his arm no. out. No. No, everyone, now count down with me. Three! Sorry. Sorry, quick thing. So, is it true that if you can't get out, you don't want anyone to help you? I will get out. Oh, yes, I will. So we shouldn't help you. No matter how much you might beg and plead. No, all right. Just, this is getting hot, so let's just do this, okay? Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go! Is everything okay, Michael? Yes. I cannot tell you how I plan to escape, other than by using magic. That is the magician's code. Separately, on an unrelated note, if you happen to find a small brass key, Kind of blurry. That's better. Question. What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. Well, that's debatable. There are basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Oh. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not... What is going on? What are you doing? Last week, I was in a drugstore and I saw these glasses, uh, $4. And it only cost me $7 to recreate the rest of the ensemble and that's a grand total of $11. You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! <laughs>